Eddie Atlas, good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated meet. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Hit the body, baby! Body blow! Dollar Bill's not looking so solid on his feet, and he's clinching. That's a smart veteran move. Give yourself a break. Yeah, to be a top fighter, to be a champion someday, you have to sometimes put your pride over on the side. He's doing that right now. It's not about pride right now. It's about being smart and surviving. Accurate hook. Dollar Bill's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Good defense just covering up down low. Ten seconds to go in this round. That's a bitter hook by Dollar Bill. So the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find out why he got stunned. What did he get hit with? Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. In and out. In and out. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Dollar Bill. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. And he's holding. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Get out of the way from those punches. Move a solid Move left hand by Dollar Bill. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Yeah, I like what I see. I love Right what to the I belt see. line. Blocks that belt line well. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Look at that. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. question becomes after that knockdown and he has gotten up how does he survive so this is where instincts kick in you got to start moving that head automatically right now you don't want to stay in the middle nice solid left hand scored by dollar bill dollar bills missing the mark by a mile that just was nowhere to be found round comes to an end Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, 
He's not just scared going into a dark place saying, see, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Dollar Bills out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Teddy? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not gonna show you. He's gonna act like a pro. He's gonna con you. He's gonna act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. You're doing great, champ. Keep going. Scores up top with a left. The Brown Bomber's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. One, two. One, two. That's it. That is right. Punch. Punch. Final ten seconds. And that's the end of round three. Winning this fight. You keep doing it. The Brown Bombers enjoying a big lead here, Teddy. And we talk about this often as we begin round number four up three to zip on your scorecard. When you have scored a knockdown that early in a fight, a real hole for your opponent to try to overcome. Yeah, because now he has to start taking chances that maybe weren't in the game plan. And as he takes chances, gets a little reckless, and as you're seeing, gets caught more. Dollar Bills tagged. Another combo, huge combo. shot comes in early on in this fight hey, from him. Bro. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Keep doing what you do. Keep moving. Keep moving. Dollar Bills making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Solid left hand to the head. Body shot lands. It was the right. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Oh, that's good stuff. Come on, come on. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the Brown Bomber. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. One, well, that two, gives him a one, better two, opportunity him him to be effective throughout the night. That right hand over the top lands flush. And clicks of the talk. The Brown Bombers doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. And that's the end of round four. Dollar Bills missing punches. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat it. His accuracy isn't there. And there's a reason for it, Joe. His punches are the wide variety. And wide punches gets what? They don't find the mark. They're not accurate. The Brown Bombers jab continues hey, to carry there. the day. You gotta see that. He's Come wanted it. Let's go. He's you got gotta it. See that. Back to the body. Back to the body. Halfway into round number five here. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, 
but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Double up on those punches. Double up. Come on, double up on the punches. He missed that uppercut. Targeting a left hand for the body. Solid right by Dollar Bill. And he just holds on there. Dollar Bill's on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. The Brown Bombers way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Flush right hand to the head. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. Unload. Unload. More punches. And now he's targeting upstairs. Fine-looking right hand by Dollar Bill. Not an accurate hook at all. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Brown Bomber. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Commits to the straight right. The Brown Bombers able to land a good, solid left hand. The jab has been able to carry the night for him so far. Why so, Teddy? Well, first of all, He's been able to get it off at the right time. His opponent, that sweet spot. You know, you hear about that in, in baseball. You want to just hit that ball in the sweet spot. Well, the jab, he's catching his opponent just as he starts to get into his race before he can get off. The Brown Bomber is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Brown Bomber. Three minutes gone by in this round. In between rounds here, Dollar Bill's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. that time landing the counter punch relax, relax. he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by dollar bill Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little Halfway through the seventh round. <laughs> Not able to connect with the uppercut. well upstairs with the right hand. Move your head. Come on, baby. Move your head. That's a razor. 
another sharp uppercut by Dollar Bill. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Good job. Deep breath. You're in control of this fight. Don't get careless out there. I think this is one of those examples as we start round number eight here and we look at your scorecard where things start to just go downhill against the guy. Like the Brown Bombers like doing that to his opponent. And to his credit, the opponent's not only going downhill on his own, Joe. He's being given a little push. Able to show you his blocking ability. The Brown Bombers in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that? A credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. There's that right hand he scores with. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Oh, what an uppercut. He just missed that shot up top. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by Dollar Bill. What a difference from corner to corner as he sits on his stool. He knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. Dollar Bill's using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. That's a good point there. He's working really nice too work, hard nice for what... He's getting done. He has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spots. <laughs> Brings the hook that time. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Bunchy, bunchy, Halfway through this round here. Hits him in the mug with the right. Right hand downstairs. Bills cut is on the cheek and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now that's something we'll keep our eye on he missed with that headshot his opponent wanted the body he wouldn't give it to him the Brown Bombers defense has been just unbelievable tonight I mean Teddy he takes such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good, because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. Turns the favor with a right hand of his own. Big, big shot he just scored with. And he crashes 
to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Looks to the head, able to get away from that headshot with the block. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. He returned fire right there, and it worked. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them, and one of them is being eliminated. Piercing jab. Good defensive skill with the block by Dollar Bill. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. Relax. Relax. You're okay. You're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep it. It's hard to see this changing course. Here it is, round number 11. And he's really banked away all these consecutive rounds here. This fight has been his for quite some time. He is not in good shape. Solid. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Gray Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five. The ref is stopping this fight. Dollar Bills unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. The Brown Bomber shocked himself just as much as I think he shocked us. Who would have ever thought a late knockout here? This thing was assured to go to the scoreguards, but it's over. You know, you made a good point. Who would have ever thunk it? Whoever would have thought of it? But his opponent never thought of it. He got loads to sleep, and that's why he's sleeping on the campus in front of us right now. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.